hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this nasa logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 30 seconds long. And background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Then I have this logo file over here. I'll simply bring this over here. I'll press S for scaling animation and I'll scale this logo at appropriate size. Then I'll press Y to select my pen behind tool and I'll move this anchor point properly at the center. Then press V for selection tool and adjust it properly at the center like this. Now this is going to be my final position for this logo. Now we have to focus on animating stuff. So let's create one ellipse and I don't want any stroke so I delete the stroke. The only thing I want over here is fill and I'll, with the help of the speaker I'm going to choose this color over here and I'm going to simply hit OK like this then by holding shift let's create one ellipse over here then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this okay so we'll get something like this now let's select this and let's hide this nasa thing over here now select this shape layer press p for position let's create one keyframe zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames and let's move this over here and go to somewhere around over here and i'll copy the first keyframe by hitting ctrl c ctrl v then let's go to the start and we will bring this downwards so we will get something like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here select this and move this handle over here now after this last keyframe go few frame forwards and create another keyframe and in middle of that I am going to move this thing over here like this so I will get this kind of bounciness over here. So if I see this I will get something like this okay. Let's select those keyframe not though all of them but these two keyframes right click go to the keyframe interpolation and I will choose linear over here and let's go to the graph editor so we have this kind of graph let's select this keyframe and hit f9 also select this keyframe and hit f9 like this so if i see this animation from the start i'll get something like this now let's go to the shape options and i'm going to choose rectangle and for the fill i'm going to choose white color and then i'm going to create one rectangle like this press v and let's bring this downwards somewhere around over here press f4 and let's go to the track mat and choose alpha inverted so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this now select this shape layer hit u select those keyframes by holding alt i'll bring them up to let's say 25 frames so i'll get this kind of animation now at this point i want something like planetary system over here so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one ellipse and i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill and for the stroke with the help of the speaker I am going to choose this color only and stroke width let's choose 2 pixels and by holding shift let's create one ellipse then press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically so we will get this kind of orbital stuff over here select this hit ctrl d again press s and increase the scale of it again like this ok now after that we will create another ellipse and this time I don't want any stroke but now I want colors so, so let's choose one like yellow hit ok and let's create one ellipse over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and let's move this over here like this again press ctrl alt home properly hit ctrl d to duplicate this shape let's move this over here press s and let's decrease the size of it go to the fill option and choose different color again select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here press s and let's increase the scale of it and now we will change the color of this to red one like this now select this ellipse hit ctrl d let's move this over here press s let's increase the scale of it 
and we will change the color of this one to somewhere around like this then again select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here press s and let's decrease the scale of it like this so now let's see now at this point now hit u now select all the uh, ellipse which are gonna act like a planet and change the color of them to yellow so we can easily understand that this is planets and this is going to be our orbit so i'll move them over here press s for scaling option let's create one keyframe over here go to around 10 frames let's create another keyframe go to the start i mean somewhere around over here and let's make them zero now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift let's move this handle over here like this okay so if i see this i'll get something like this or let's move them at this point okay so i'll get something like this and we will select this and we will move this over here okay now select all of this planets to the system like this select then press p for position create one keyframe then press s for scaling option create another keyframe and hit u go few frame forwards somewhere around over here and create one keyframe again then go to the start select all of them go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and then bring the position of each and every one over here and initially let's make the scale to zero and now select all the keyframes and hit f9 we'll go to the graph editor we'll select this graph and by holding shift i'm gonna move them over here so i'll get something like this now if you think the uh, animation is quite fast so simply move those keyframes a little bit forward and now we have to adjust them like this like okay so if I see this animation, I'll get something like this. Yeah. Okay, so after creating this much animation, what we need to do, we will click right click new and we will create one null object and make sure this did null object should be at the center properly like this. And now we will select this orbits and all of the shape layers and we will make it apparent with this null one like this. So after this animation at somewhere around this point so i'm gonna select this null object i'll press r for rotation i'll create one keyframe over here let's go few frame forwards up to around 2.20 frames and let's make one complete rotation like this select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and let's move this handle over here like this so if i hit play i'll get this kind of rotation over here and if you think the rotation is too much you can simply instead of mm, complete one rotation you can type 180 also so we will get something like this and if you want then you can move this a little bit further like this okay so if i hit play and see i'll get something like this then after that again i'm gonna right click new and i'll create one null object I'm gonna select this null object and I'll make it apparent with this null 2. Now select this null 2 and go to around somewhere around 20 seconds. Let's press R for rotation. Let's create one keyframe. Zoom in a little bit and go to around 6 seconds and let's make it 45. So we will get one continuous animation for this one also. Like this. And if you want then you can move it a little bit over here. So let's see. We will get first this and then this. and now i'm going to select this null object like this and first of all hit u now select both the null objects and hit ctrl d to bring uh, duplicate it and bring them at the top and then only select this shape layers and we will bring them over here now uh, as you guys know this null object i mean these shape layers are parent with this ninth null object now i'm gonna make it apparent with this one which is our second one so now we have one separately for this what we call strokes and one for this one so now what we need to do we need to select this null object and we need to shrink it down now let's select this null one press s create one keyframe also select this null press s create one keyframe zoom in a little bit and let's go to somewhere around let's say over here select this null object make it zero select this null object and we will increase the size of it so the orbits are gonna go outside so now select both the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we'll move this handle over here and we'll move this handle over here like this so i'll get this kind of stuff 
now let's select this and let's move this over here select this and let's move this over here okay now select all the last keyframe and we need to move it a little bit over here like this okay so now i'm going to select all of these layers and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as orbit 10 hit okay then i'm going to select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as planets and hit okay so now let's see this animation from the start we have this and this and then this now as you guys know that we have logo over here logo file so let's bring this over here press s for scaling option and let's move this or somewhere around over here like this let's move this over here increase the scale of it create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's decrease the keyframe i mean the scale like this select those keyframe and hit f9 select this press t for opacity and let's make zero initially create one keyframe hit you go over here and let's make this complete 100 and select both the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift let's move this handle over here so if i hit play i'll get something like this so let's see this animation okay so now we have to move this a little bit over here like this okay now select this planet's uh, layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for eco effect on it and simply double click to apply increase the number of echoes to 20 and in this eco time seconds we have to remove this first three and type zero over there and go to this choose maximum like this choose quarter resolution so we will get this kind of stuff now at this point as you guys know that we have this shape layer over here we have to scale it this one also down so i'll press s i'm gonna create one keyframe over here then go over here and let's decrease the scale of it totally downwards like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here okay so i'm gonna get something like this let's go over here let's make it complete zero like this okay now at this point what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select all both the shape layers i'll press ctrl shift d and i'll bring this at the top like this and now press u we don't want animation over here we will select this and let's move this over here let's select those keyframe hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph and we'll move this thing over here like this okay now our almost all animation is done now i'll select all of them i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as logo hit ok and hit ctrl d two times uh, and let's select this second one and enable this option like this and let's make this full resolution and go to the effect and presets panel and search for find edge effect and simply double click to apply like this and choose screen and now enable this thing also and select this i mean select this one and copy this find edge effect hit ctrl c select the first one and hit ctrl v now go to the start and let's move this one to around five seconds and go over here and move this one to around let's say 10 seconds long select this and let's choose screen and let's see what we will get let's select this and make this inverted select this and let's make this inverted let's see something like this it's taking a little bit time to load so let's make this court resolution and let's see okay let's zoom in and let's move this over here and this one over here okay press ctrl y and create one solid background layer and i'll move this over here now if you guys can see we will get not complete black effect but it's just a little bit of lines effect over here 
which makes our animation a kind of cool thing like this so this is how you can create this kind of animation like this now press n and now if you hit play you'll get something like this which is kind of easy logo reveal so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned